So, the Super Bowl. Did you guys all watch the Super Bowl? I, I did. I started watching the Super Bowl, and then I went and played Gauntlet Legends on Nintendo 64 <laughs> instead. Awesome. So, how far in did you get? Uh, just to the end of the first world. For the first one? Are you talking about the Super Bowl or Gauntlet <laughs> Legends? <laughs> what did you think we were talking about? Gauntlet Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. No one gives a fuck about Gauntlet Legends. <laughs> we were asking how much have you seen, did you see, see the Super Bowl? See, that's the thing, because you look, yeah. like, in your day-to-day life, you look confused a lot. And I just yeah. think, think that was a look on your face, and you're actually, yeah. but are you confused a lot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much of the Super Bowl did you watch before you started playing Gauntlet Legends um, and you made it to the end of the first world? You know, not a lot. In college, a friend of mine, uh, we were at a party, and the cops showed up, and at this point... Did you break the neighbor's fence and... No, no, this isn't... Okay. So the, the cops showed up, and, you know, my friends were uh, under 21, so they're like, we gotta hide. And so they went and hid in the, um, like, it was a balcony. Mm -hmm. So they went and hid in, like, the closet in the balcony. But okay, they were both like utility really, closet. Yeah, and they were both really, really drunk. And, you know, the cops show up, and they're uh, giving people uh, minor possessions and, you know, get, handing out tickets. So they're in there for a really long time. And they're sitting there, and they're both really nervous. And so one of them, you know, they're like, oh, I don't know, I mean, my nerves are just... So one of them starts smoking a cigarette. Okay, and then the other one gets... He's, he, they're in there for, like, you know, an hour. And he's like, I really have to pee, I really have to pee. So he, he's like, well, what am I going to do? He's like, so he takes his shirt off and pees onto his own shirt so it absorbs the pee so it doesn't leak out onto the floor. Right. And at that moment, the cop opens the door. <laughs> and so this... This cop opens the door and there's these two like 19 year old kids. One of them's pissing on his own shirt. <laughs> He's taking his shirt off. The other one's smoking a cigarette. And they're just like, <laughs> and, you know, and they both got ticketed. But oh my god, so it's like it's not worth it. They got no, like, piss on his own shirt. He's like, God damn, I should have yeah, no. just come out. No, I just have a piss shirt. Damn it, that sucks. So. I mean, did, did, does he stay at the party shirtless or does he go no. home? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess he, he got a ticket and went home. I mean, he wouldn't put the shirt back on. But, like, uh, did he leave the shirt there, or did he dispose of it? You uh, know, like these I mean, details. I don't. I don't know what he. I'm always curious to know how much more well, asshole drunk people are. Because I was, I was over 21, so I just left. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah, I'm like young bastards. I'm always curious as to what you can get arrested for. Like, I, like, say you had a TV, and you were just walking it down the street, but there was porn on it, right? Like, really graphic porn, and just like showing it to the public. That's illegal, right? Is that illegal? <laughs> I think that's illegal. Is it? I think so. Well, I know, like in Austin, for example. Um, you can be topless, like if you're male or female, you can be topless as long as it's not in a sexual situation. So like a woman can be topless walking I think down. most places that's, that's like that. Not, not most places, like some places though. Like, most cool places. Yeah, most cool Even like New Orleans, you can't, like women can't be topless, which is strange. Can't, really? Yeah, Fair which is very odd. But anyway, tickets on Mardi Gras. <laughs> and like, like in San Francisco, I think you can be fully nude. But as long as you're not in a sexual manner, or as like as long as you're not like erect or something, so you gotta just you make sure you're legal. As long as you're not erect, no, I said, what I happens if you is. accidentally get a boat? If you're just like, uh, you gotta cover it and hide. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm in danger. <laughs> and get the shit out of here. <laughs> the, cop, the cops are sitting there watching you, like ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> They're were waiting for a guy. You see Gavin walking down the street <laughs> with a TV and porn on it. You're like, uh oh, <laughs> you're gonna get arrested. <laughs> It's, it sucks actually that you can walk down the street naked, but if you get a bone, you're, you're breaking the law. Yeah. It's like something that you have no control over breaks the law for you. You have some control over it. Well, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a Speak better man than yourself. me. Uh, um, it's you know, a little bit you, of control. If you urinate in public, um, you'll get you put on the. Um, uh, registered sex offender? Yeah, a registered sex offender really? list. Really? Yeah. Yeah, for where, indecent exposure. Where, where's the weirdest place you peed? Uh, I once on a peed in a, in a yeah. <laughs> parking garage of a who uh, hasn't though? of a um, grocery store in Seattle. Okay. So we were there, like we were there for packs, and we needed to buy some supplies. So we went to this grocery store, like down the road. We got there, and I'd been drinking some beers. We got there, I was like, oh man, I gotta piss, I gotta piss, I gotta piss. So I go to uh, the restrooms there at mm -hmm. the at the grocery store, and they've got like a close for maintenance. Oh. sign over it and they're locked both the men and the women they say and there's a sign that's like go to the subway next door and it's a like subway sandwich shop so i go to the subway next door but it's like 10 p.m and they're closed I'm like oh crap so then I'm, I'm i'm like i'm in my head i'm thinking there's no way i can get back to my hotel there's no way i can get back anywhere so i go down by where we're parked 
uh, in the parking garage and I just start pissing. And like, as I'm getting close to being done, a security guard walks up behind me. Oh. He's like, what are you doing? And in my head, I'm like, oh shit, registered sex offender list. <laughs> so I just take off running. <laughs> <laughs> and, Wait, did, did you finish and then run? Yeah, yeah, like I finished you, and then like, just okay, up and just took off running. Just, just, so you weren't midstream, like. <laughs> no, that, like I ran around the block a couple times and then when I was convinced I got away from him, I went back into the, <laughs> the supermarket. I was like, guys, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> So I thought so indecent exposure was you, someone had to see it. Someone had to well, see the, the cop, cop sees, sees it. you. Yeah. No, but someone has to see your tackle. The cop. Yeah, yeah but, but you have it whipped out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but if, if you're guarding it and the guy's Shit. behind you, he's not it's looking okay at it. It's okay as long as you've got like a little... It's like you have blinders on it. It's like a horse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what if you were just stood tipping out a bottle of water? Mm -hmm. Are they going to bust you for that? Uh -huh. It's the same. There's only one way to find out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Immersion. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What is the definition of speed? Are, are you asking like it's a the, cheaper the version movement of movement or the drug? The mo <laughs> movement, the speed. It's I'm thinking because velocity. Yeah, it's velocity it's, and direction, right? But it's yeah. only in reference. No, velocity is speed and direction. That's right. Yeah. Okay. But it's only in reference to another object, though, isn't it? Yes. Why? So it's the, when we say speed, like we're, it, we're, it, well, two hundred miles compared an hour. to the Earth. Right. So you could just be on your own in space. Right, because right now we're moving through space at, you know, yeah. God knows how many... So say I'm just, like, in space, floating about. Am I moving at zero miles an hour? No. no if you're, you're in space floating, floating, you're actually in orbit around the Earth, moving... No, no like say I'm in the middle of just space. No, you're still moving. Yeah, you're, you're almost, like... Gravity is still acting on yeah. you. Where? From, from where? From, like, distant stars. Like, think about it. But what, am I, what, what would my speed... You're, where you're would constantly you, moving. Yeah, but in relation to what? Like, Probably so in relation to the gravity source that's acting on you. Of the you. nearest yeah. planet. Or whatever is exerting gravity on you. It may not be the nearest planet. It may be a more dense planet further away or a bigger star further away. I was thinking of myself just, like, hauling ass through space. I Why? Assume, really fast. I assume and you... Then, <laughs> and then, like, say the Earth sped up and caught up with me to the point where I was just, like moving at the same speed as Earth, my speed would be going down, even though I'm not changing speed. And that being said, I assume you have a relative speed to each individual object around you yeah. as well. So I might just start quoting the speed that I can run in relation to the moon, and it's probably really fast. <laughs> I'm, you'd be or just like, add it to like six the rotational speed hour. of the Earth. Yeah. So it's like you can run 10 yeah. miles an hour, <laughs> and the Earth's rotating at 6,000 miles an hour. You're like, yeah. I can run 6,000 10 miles an hour, <laughs> or 5,990 if I'm going the other direction. <laughs> If you had one hour from this point where you knew you could reload back to this point, but you had an hour of time that basically wouldn't count, no one would know about what you did, except for you. You would remember. What would you do in that hour? Tons of gay stuff. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Really? Let me... um, Essentially, if it was one hour, would it be something you could replicate, or is it you just have one shot at it? You do it once. Just once? Yeah. Okay. So... Hmm. Now, that's, not, that's half the question. Here's a quote. Wait, no, no. Counter question. I like it. All right. Can you, if you like the circumstances, not reload? No. Okay. You will absolutely not do, like, the things yeah, you did yeah, will yeah. never take place. Do you okay. know Unless you want to redo it afterwards. What if you die in that hour? You just relay to now. Okay. So what, what it, would, do you know in advance? Or would it be like, yeah, and you're going I'm now. telling it's you like, now. I'm, I literally just start the clock. Now, that's part of the question. Okay, so like you can't, you can't prep. You can't be yeah. like, okay, I'm going to be ready to go when this starts. Would the thing you did change if you had 12 hours instead of one hour? I assume so, but I can't think of what the thing is. It would absolutely change if it was 12 I hours. hate I hypothetical asked, questions. This is like the ultimate hypothetical question. I asked someone this <laughs> and what the difference would be between the one hour and the 12 hours. And he said... The quality of the rapings, I guess. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. That, that oh. is someone you need to avoid. Jesus Christ. Man. It's a fucking... The like. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. You never would have raped them. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. It's like... Like, this, this is wow. someone who... Who it's would do evil, terrible things no. if, he, if he did not have to pay the consequences. Yeah, it's just like being in a video game. You have the, like, in GTA, you have the escapism of doing whatever you want. It doesn't count for anything in real life. You would have this but in real life. So you you are the reason that politicians blame video games <laughs> for, like, mass <laughs> shootings. For, they're they're going to point to the I, podcast. If there's, if there's a game that was, like, Rape Session 101, <laughs> I wouldn't play it. Yeah. That's, not, that, not my cup of tea. No, no, you're fucking terrible, Damn, dude. Gavin. So you don't know what you would do? No, I can't. I'm sure it'd be something illegal, but I I'd, would, I'd, I'd immediately <laughs> go to raping. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool, rape time. <laughs> See, See, I, I would, would do 
I would try to time it where, like, at the end of the hour, I was doing something that would ultimately lead to my death. Like, jump off a building and try to, like, time it where, before you hit, <laughs> it all kicks back. So, be like, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> sweet. All right, cool. So, that you would awesome. just suddenly, like, say yeah. I started the clock now? It would basically be, you would revert back to now, but in the middle of this podcast, you'd be like, whoa! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, like, Fuck! Ooh. It's kind of like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Except you got to do it over and over again. See, yeah. what I would do is I would try and find out information that would benefit me. Yeah. That I would remember. Like, I might try and hold up a bank, get, like, kill everyone in the bank, and then take the gun to the last person's head and be like, how do I get into this vault at night with nobody, <laughs> nobody knowing? Well, and then they would tell me, and then I'd go back in time and be like... But then you, you'd inevitably be, be caught when you'd go back to your real life and then you'd just be in jail. Why would I be caught? Because there's no way you could rob a bank. I don't, I don't, I don't trust you to rob a bank without being caught, Gavin. Yeah. Well, maybe I would just You could read... do something more mundane like watch the stock market and see which stocks make a <laughs> ton of money in that hour. No, that's what, that's what you should do. It's like primer. Or I could kill everyone and then read all their text messages. So I and then rape them. <laughs> Just why not, right? I mean, fuck it. You're gonna... That's crazy. See, I don't like people know, like usually if I've ever put on cologne, it gets a comment like, oh, mm. you're wearing some cologne. It's like, I'm not gonna wear it now. I don't want it. But if, like say I put in some hair product and that smells good and they're like, oh, you smell nice. It's like, it's the hair. <laughs> it's, Cause then it's passive. It's like, well, I had to do my hair anyway. It just happens to smell nice. If I did cologne, it looks like I've made an effort to smell nice, and I don't like that. Because I want to, I want to. I don't know smell. why, but I think I hate that, and I yeah. think I hate you now. I think it has to do with the fact, <laughs> I think it has to do with the fact you shed your entire body. You're like, it's like you're like pick up the cat and start stroking it. And then say yeah. that again. <laughs> quick, quick. I you're, think you're, I wanted to be dead. Body motion on that. You're yeah. just like your hands were twitching. It was like, like you're about oh, to you fucking asshole. The the thing anger is, was your building face in was gust. so straight there. I, I had no idea which way you were taking. I was like, good god. I think I agree with what you're saying. Or I hate you so, so much. <laughs> I was on set once. We were on a cooking show, and um, it was like a three-month shoot. We were, this guy was cooking all these recipes and doing the talking. But I only had to do the slow motion, so I was in there for two days. And the camera was in, in the front of him while he was like flipping pancakes and stuff like this. Uh-huh. Oh, He's I gonna might. fix your mic. They're gonna fix Gavin's mic. I will continue the story. Just we, have a, we have a little whiteboard right. that's off screen, <laughs> and they're yelling at Gavin via the whiteboard right now. <laughs> Point your mic at your face. Thanks. So um, the camera is, is looking at him, and I'm attached to the camera with a cable looking at what the camera sees, but I'm off to the side. Um, so I'm like focusing the camera and then seeing if the shot's all right, and then he's flipping a pancake. But in between all the takes, he, he was always looking to the side on the screen. I was like, what is he looking? Oh, he's looking at me. So I could, <laughs> he didn't know I could see what the camera was seeing. Cause he, I guess he didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. And uh, I could just see him whenever we were between takes, he was just staring at me. And then at lunch, the director came over and <laughs> said that this TV chef, he's, uh, he's got a real thing for you. He's, he's, a, he's, he's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> a big fan? <laughs> And apparently uh, this, chef, this chef, he's probably like 50, he goes up to the director and goes, who's that young man? He's beautiful. <laughs> and I was like, wow. <laughs> and, I, and then it all, it all made sense because in between takes as well, he would like cook me up these little nibbles and stuff. He'd be like, what do you think of this one? I'd be like, well, it's great. And I was just waffling <laughs> down. And I didn't realize it was flirting until it was too late. Until and, it was too late? Yeah, and, like it was always like, like, you couldn't do anything late. about it? Too you're, late. you're like gone home, you're like, oh shit. Yeah, so I could have turned this my chance. So he was already in love with me at this point, and I could see that he was staring at me, so it was pretty obvious at that point. Anyway, so I'm only there for two days, but the whole shoot is three months long. Why? And what the hell kind of shoot was three months long? It, they know, they did a ton of episodes where he was. Oh, I see. And okay. then they shoot all around the, all around the world. Like, they're shooting Italy a cooking stuff. feature. Yeah. There was actually time slice on this cooking show. Like, he would flip a pancake, it would whoosh around him in bullet time, and then our slow mo camera would That's pick up. That's not true. Yeah, it's true. It was a pretty high budget <laughs> cooking show. Anyway, so this was this, this guy's first time being on TV. He's known among all the TV chefs as like one of the best cooks, but um, he's kind of nervous in front of the camera. So every time, this is after I left, because yep. I was only there two days. Was he a so good kisser? He was, <laughs> he was doing all these recipes, but apparently they couldn't get him to look up at the camera enough. Because he, he would always talk and like look down and they're like, we need you to look into the lens. You like should have been standing by the camera. He would have looked up all the time. So the producer went online and went onto my Facebook and no. printed out my profile picture and taped it to the matte box on the top of the camera to get him to look to the thing. Which I thought was a pretty funny story. That's the pretty ridiculous, dude. You wow. were used. Did you, get, <laughs> did you get extra salary for that? No. And, on, and about <laughs> six or seven months later, this was probably Christmas time, someone got my mum his cookbook. Are you which serious? had just come out. I was like, that's 
pretty weird. You're like, that's the dude I banged on set. <laughs> <laughs> and in, in the front page, of the, <laughs> in the front page of the book, he's got all his thanks and stuff. So it's like, thanks to the lighting guy, Billy. And these are all people who have been on set with him for three months. It's like an experience for them. And he lists all these names, and at the end, it just says, and Gavin. <laughs> and, and Gavin. I got my rock. It so was. Did he butter your muffin? He butted all of my money. So do you find that a lot of <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. Uh, gay guys are attracted to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah there's, there, it's always on set. There's a lot nah, of bullshit. on set. There was bullshit. Once. That's you projecting. Yeah, that's so, projecting. That's totally that's you projecting. projecting. Was, that's something <laughs> straight guys do all the time. We're like, oh, it's a gay guy. He must be in love with me. There was once a gay medic on set. And he was, you know, doing the... Once again, didn't know he was flirting. I'd be confused. And then he started testing out all his ambulance equipment on me. He was like, hey, look, go, lean on this thing. And he was like strapping me to the emergency stretcher and stuff. You're I was like, on this mask, <laughs> breathe deep. Yeah. <laughs> Let me practice CPR on you. Yeah, it's weird. I get a lot of dude attention. <laughs> so what's he practicing on you with ambulance equipment? I don't know. We were just... You they're don't know. They're, they're didn't bother to ask. No, no. He's going to do a medical just procedure on me. What else? I, I went from like... a doctor. I went from... I had to go and get a cable. I gave the cable. And he was like, come over here. And all of a sudden, I'm strapped to a stretcher that's being like wheeled out the back of an ambulance. And I was like, what, what am I doing? How do I get into this situation? <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who asked the same thing. You can't even tell us how you got into this situation. Yeah, I don't know. I just agreed to stuff. It's weird. I just agreed to stuff. <laughs> it's weird. I think an ex-girlfriend who said that. I have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Brother's getting yelled Could at. Could you fit an entire one of these in your gob? Yep. Can you? No, well, I don't know. Did I you say in your bog? No, listen, oh. up, Gavin, oh. the reason why I didn't eat the pancake is because I'm like, there's, I'm going to this award show. Do it. so it's like, you don't have to swallow it. I want to see if you can fit it I'm all in the I'm not going to fucking shove it. That's what I told her also. <laughs> 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 you don't have to swallow it. That's how you fit it all in there. <laughs> that's terrible. I would pay you to do it. How much? 25 bucks. I'll do it. Let's go. Wow. You know, if you fit the whole thing in your mouth, Gus makes the entry in his memo. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Only if the pancake it? releases. You have to swallow it, though. <laughs> swallow it? Yeah. What does that mean? How, this is thick. How are you supposed to swallow that? <laughs> Shove it all in. She just said she oh didn't have to swallow it. She does. Oh, OK. This is a really, really cool Oh, this is a great <laughs> angle. Thumbs up. OK, I'm not going to be able to swallow it all. Wedge it in. <laughs> all in. <laughs> Don't choke. <laughs> You, oh, come on, you got to nibble on the end. Of, oh. You remember how remember how we said earlier that you can literally find a porn or fetish for anything? There is some guy watching this right now who's going, I can't believe this is <laughs> <It's> actually <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances they would have pancakes and barbara <laughs> in the same day? <laughs> it's, it it's like Reddit slash R slash uh. sex pancakes. <laughs> You know, it's like Barbara doesn't even know that Photoshop exists. It's like she just lives in a world where she can just ignore that fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that fixes it. That makes it all better. All right, what else do we need to talk about? Um, one way or the other. Um, the other question people keep asking about is about a production we've mentioned occasionally called Day 5. Uh, we shot it at, um, uh, you'll see some stuff related to Day 5. Maybe sooner, but I wouldn't expect it before that. I suddenly don't like pancakes anymore. No, you're done? Yeah. So I've been trying to figure out, I had a poll. So my Facebook is my friends are people that I know. Just because, subscribers. And then I have subscribers. Yeah. So my friends were like, one of my friends texted me and goes, all these people are like freaked the fuck out on your Facebook thread about this stuff. It's all gone now, so you have to look at it, don't bother. Um, and they were like, this is like, the, the, it was like, this just goes to show how jaded I am to this stuff. Because they said, they're saying terrible, terrible things. And I go, oh, shit. I go, I haven't, I'm not, I can't look at it. I haven't looked at it. I go, are they, like, trolling, getting in there? And, like, well, they're just, they're being, they're doing really, like, offensive stuff. I go, are they, are they posting pictures of a, it's like a Oriental girl shitting on herself? And they're like, no. <laughs> Is that your go-to? <laughs> That's your go-to? <laughs> it's like, it's oh, only, like, an <laughs> Oriental girl shitting on herself. girl. <laughs> girl. Dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not the preferred nomenclature. I know, Asian, sorry. No, you know. And then I said, I said, oh, is it a bunch of oldies blowing each other? Like, no. What are, you <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? I go, well, what are they, what are they doing? Are they like, are they just like, I was like, shock images? Just, what are they doing? And I said, well, they're just, they're just speculating why you're posting a picture of, of somebody that they don't know. And I was like, oh. Okay, well, let's go race that. Yeah. I was like, I was realizing that I'm like, I've been on the internet so long that like my, the way I interact with people versus my real life friends from like high school and stuff, it's totally fucking different. It was like, yeah. 
Well, their level of like offensive was like they were speculating on my life, and that was yeah. offensive so to like, my friends. Top girl, lemon party, meat spin. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong there? That's yeah, all okay. They didn't do any of this. Like, it's fine. Yeah, goatee doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a real life thing. That dude over there, he's being totally inappropriate. Is he whipping his dick out? <laughs> yeah. like, right. what's wrong? <laughs> no, he's being mean to people. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nothing. But Man, I finally got around it. to watching uh, Argo. Yeah? Is that good? Uh, yeah, I, got, uh, I bought it in H HD, like HD download. It's a fucking good movie. I didn't, did anyone Some may say it's our good. D oh, Jesus. No. Damn it. Don't go there. How does <laughs> hey, did anybody talk about the PGAs that we went to? The Producers Guild Awards? No, I don't think so. Man, that... Oh, Jesus, Barbara. What I was trying to do. Wow. She has her own oh, soundboard geez. now for shitty jokes. My phone is on silent, so it was <laughs> So we went to the Producers Guild Awards, uh, and we determined that if a cup, if ever a cup shows up <laughs> in a porn yeah. video, was that it? Like we the were, most benign seriously. object, but if a cup shows up in a porn video, it's like, yeah. get out. Just hit eject <laughs> immediately. <laughs> <laughs> is it because of two girls, one cup? Is that no, it's just any cup. <laughs> I mean, just think about any, any In real cup. life. <laughs> <laughs> Get him that track. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> Listen to him. So, what are you going to say in real life? <laughs> oh, that was horrifying. In real life. <laughs> Don't think about it. What we were saying was this is probably an LA we were talking about this. If in, if in real life you have to put a towel down, you know it's like you're kind of on the boundaries of being gross. In porn, if a cup comes out, that's like the porn equivalent of that. <laughs> <laughs> the porn equivalent of putting a towel down. <laughs> Oh. It was a struggle. It was a struggle for you to tell the story. It was a story. struggle to keep my lunch down. <laughs> oh, God. Where were we? We're just driving around LA. Oh God. Ugh.